this presentation, I will be going through the steps of creating a simple uh, strategy for machining this feature on this part. EdgeCam has the ability to automatically extract machinable features from a solid model. In this case, EdgeCam has extracted a contour wall pocket type feature, and all the properties associated to this feature are listed on the property window. From EdgeCam, we are able to open Strategy Manager automatically and begin to populate our strategy. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating an end node, linking my start to my end, and uh, continue building the strategy. The first thing we're going to do in this strategy is, uh, is constrain this strategy so that it is automatically assigned to the contour wall feature that we're going to machine. EdgeCam now has the ability to automatically look for the constraints in a strategy and assign each strategy on a feature by feature basis. In order to do this, we're going to double click on my start node and we're going to add a constraint. We're going to click on constraints here, then click on feature type, hit my equal sign and populate the number of features that are built in EdgeCam in strategy. As you can see here, each feature that is detected in EdgeCam is also populated in the Strategy Manager window. This is where we can tie in our strategy and select the appropriate feature so that we can constrain it. For this pre presentation, we're going to assign this strategy to a contour mill type feature. We will hit our OK button here and go and save the strategy. Give this a name hit save. When we go back into EdgeCam and we move this part into manufacturing mode, we will see EdgeCam automatically look for the strategy uh, and assign the appropriate strategy for this feature. As we can see here as the part was being moved into manufacturing mode, EdgeCam automatically populated my feature in my feature window and automatically assigned the strategy assigned for this type of feature. In this case, my Stratman demo strategy has been assigned to this feature. This comes very handy uh, when you're trying to save time uh, from looking for strategies manually or applying strategies manually. This gives you another autom automated method in applying uh, multiple strategies to your part. The next step here is, uh, is to manually build uh, my, my cycle and then output that process into my strategy so that I can further develop uh, the, stra the appropriate strategy for machining this type of feature. What we'll do here is we'll go into my tool store, grab a tool, create a roughing cycle, Select the feature that I'm going to machine. And create a tool path. Create a tool change, manual tool change movement to get the tool out of the way. And there is my tool path. Once I am happy with my tool path parameters, I will use this information to bring into my strategy and be able to apply this same process to this same type of feature on any type of part that I bring in attached to. What I'll do here is I'll quickly highlight all three cycles, right click with my mouse and click on output process. This basically copies these cycles and allows me to paste them in under my processes uh, in my strategy manager so that I can further use when developing my strategy. The next thing we're going to do, uh, now that we have our process created, we are going to create a decision node. A decision node will be created in order to be able to ask a question and determine whether uh, the feature that we're machining is correct uh, in order to apply this, to this strategy. And if it's not the right feature, then we need to end our process. In this case, we're going to name this is 
this a contour wall. We're going to constrain this again to a feature type that needs to equal contour mill. We're going to create another end node. We're going to tie this end, uh, this decision node to this end node. And we're going to tie the start to this decision node here. What I have done here is this little X means if this is not a contour wall feature, then it needs to end the process. If it is, then we need to continue on uh, with the strategy. In between the checkpoint, I'm going to uh, bring in my, my, my roughing cycle, and I'm just going to rename this, I'm going to call this contour rough. But before I bring it in into the process, I just want to show you that we have full control of editing any parameter um, inside the strategy. Anything that we bring out from EdgeCam does not have to be uh, set in. It could be modified at any point. So we can go in here and modify uh, any any option inside of, of the strategy. I can go back in here and say my cut increment, instead of saying 5, five million, which I had in EdgeCam, I want to reduce this to 3. And so on and so forth. Once I've made my changes and I'm happy, I can drag this in into my strategy and connect my decision check mark to my roughing cycle. Once I've roughed out my part, I can go and end my process. So what have we done so far in strategy? What we've done is first we assigned our strategy to a contour wall feature type so that EdgeCam can automatically assign the strategy to the, to the feature uh, that needs to be machined. Next we created a decision node that will allow us to determine whether we, uh, we are machining a contour mirror feature or not. Uh, and third, we created um, some decisions. If the contour mill feature is not correct, then we need to end the process right away. If it is a contour mill feature, then we need to carry forward into our contour roughing uh, cycle. Once we've done this, we can save, we can go back into EdgeCam, we'll delete these cycles here, and we will hit our apply all strategies. Once we hit apply all strategy, automatically EdgeCam runs through the strategy and populates our toolpath. If we go into verification mode, simulate this in 3D and determine if our toolpath is adequate. All the information that we brought in from strategy has been populated inside of EdgeCam. And we can verify that by opening up our roughing cycle, go into depth, and we can see that the in cut increment was originally five, and we changed it inside the strategy to three. We can see that that change has been reflected in the new cycle populated in EdgeCam. This concludes part one of creating a strategy in EdgeCam.